Oi, oi, everyone. No respawns here. Hope you're doing well. So I have reinforced this rather cool looking train tunnel entrance. Now you may notice that this isn't a build, this is just the tour of the build. Uh, the reason being is my audio crapped out when I was recording. Uh, it duplicated my voice. I think it tried to record both my microphones. I have one on my headset and it tried to record that one which is next to my computer, like next to the tower and my main mic. So the audio was just terrible. So unfortunately no build in terms of actually showing you all of the little steps that I did. However, you will get a nice cheeky slow tour. So where are we firstly? Uh, we are just, basically, so there's Harper's Ferry. I'm over here. My wee train tunnel. I spelled tunnel right half, thank God. Uh, so it's just, uh, basically, when you spawn into Harper's Ferry, I think it's on this track here. So you just turn around and wander down here. You have this wonderful little place uh, shoved in this wee cubby hole here. So I've got a little bit of um, a head cannon with this place. Which is so, the main feature is actually my vault atrium, my, my vault, uh, vault utility room, right? Which is my favourite of the shelters. And so this is, my, my head cannon is that's actually back there. And this is just the entrance to it. Which I really wanted to do, like a, a vault shelter entrance. And that's what this is. Uh, and I think it's worked really, really well. It's utilising loads of different decorational bits, as you can see. Um, decorational? That is a word, yeah. Decoration bits. And I'm really pleased, obviously, because I always say that, but I am generally quite pleased with how this turned out. Uh, one of my friends pointed out on Discord that it sort of looks like a place that you would just stumble across and get drunk at, and I think that's a really apt way of describing the vibe of this place. It's very like, oh, that's that shifty train tunnel that people have been dragging sofas in for the past 20 years. It's quite neat. I've got my little, um, I haven't actually turned it on. Well, it is on, but the camp isn't public yet. Uh, but I will, so if you stumble across my camp, please say hello. I half the, I'm half in a private server, half not. And there's loads of pre-existing areas, like pre-existing set pieces in this area as well. So it's like, so I didn't place all of this stuff down here, um, or this here. So it's quite cool. It used to be irradiated, but it's not anymore. So have fun. Uh, there's also, for those who haven't seen it, so you can walk, there's this whole walkway that got, leads you all the way up to the top there, which is pretty neat. I did test out, and if you put your camp module here, you can't build up there. Uh, but if you build up there, I think you might be able to get here, but then you wouldn't be able to get to the ground floor, which you can probably hear all the stuff down there. So let's just go down here. Um, I'm actually only using half the build limit as well. So my initial plan, right, was, and I've mentioned this in a few other of my videos, um, was that I was going to basically retire my building character. And this is my main character, right? So there's my other camp, which is over here, which a lot of you, which I haven't named yet, but a lot of you are familiar with. Um, I like this camp so much that I don't want to tear it down. Uh, so I am actually going to go back to my building character for the build videos uh, until they finally give us, like, more than two camp slots. Otherwise, I'm just... This is going to be so cool. I love this place. Uh, it gives me a choice. And also, the Mire is my favourite location. So, see, I pop a little tower over there, which is quite... I like sinking those towers into things. I might splash this area up a little bit, but I've got a little bit of a water area here. Um, I've recently started really going for it with, um... Dilute stim packs, and they're quite heavy on the purified water. However, I don't want to be those people who have like you know seven or eight water purifiers next to each other because it looks ugly as hell. So I'm going to be a little bit more selective with how many I place. So there's this little wee area here. It's also a corpse there, but you know that's my mate. They're just hanging out. Um, I can do more with this. The ground in here is a little bit uneven, so you can't place too much stuff. I had a little bit more flair, and I'm going to probably just slowly add to this. I can't put any stations in it, which is annoying, so this is going to be sort of where I cook up the chems. I do like the lighting in here is really good, because th those boards usually look a little bit out of place, but in actual fact, they blended quite nicely with this. This whole area just screams raider outpost. Even though I've sort of made it a free states thing, because my character's all lovely and nice. Uh, it could work with the raiders quite nicely. I need to figure out where I'm going to put my collector on. I'm probably going to put him down here. I annoyingly can't put him up there, because the way the ground works here, you can sink stuff in some areas, but I haven't found a place that I can put my collector on. Which is a shame, because I think it would look really cool if you could just walk up and down here, but... Oh, well, oh, well. And I do normally have an ally here. I did have Wanderer, but she, her guitar was pissing me off. So um, I don't know who I'm going to put in here. I might actually maybe put the Doctor down in the bottom area. That might actually be quite neat. Anywho, um, I hope it gives you a lot of few ideas. As I said, I'm, unfortunately, I couldn't show the build. To be fair, it was mostly just me doing these bits here. As you can see with the junk walls. It was pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward what I've done. 
And I'm so glad I've actually got the uh, the solar panels on this character. Uh, yeah, so I, it's, I'm really pleased with this and I'm going to do a lot more work on it. So you will probably see this again in a future video on another topic, perhaps, which will be quite neat. Um, but yes, hope to give you a few ideas. If you have discovered areas like this, let me know. Because I've... I think my next kind of few videos are going to be in places like this that I've stumbled across. There's a really cool one... I think it's actually nearby here. Yeah, it's like here somewhere. Uh, it actually has enemies spawning inside, which is like mildly annoying. But they're only round roaches, so it's not too much of a bull lake. And I saw someone building on this absolutely cool... I don't think it was that one, but it was one of the earth movers. And I saw someone had built on it, so I also want to... I want to do that idea too. So I've got a uh, expect to see stuff like this uh, in the upcoming videos, which will be quite neat. Um, anyway, as said, as always, follow me on the Twitter at No Respawns. Um, I'm going to be streaming, uh, try and do at least once a week, potentially twice a week now. We've kind of finally got Fallout 76 back with the latest season. Uh, I'll be streaming that every Tuesday with sometimes streaming Fallout 4. I'm going to slowly move the streams over to Twitch, um, though not all of them. I might still stream on this, this channel. Um, so what I'll probably do is... I put a little announcement post whenever I'm streaming on Twitch. But follow me on Twitch. The, the link should be in the description. Um, and yes, enjoy uh, your weekend. If you are based in the UK, and enjoy your long weekend. I think Europeans have it as well. I don't know if Americans do. No, no, Europeans don't because my French colleagues don't at work. However, if you do, enjoy your long weekend. Otherwise, have a good day at work tomorrow. Um, and I'll speak to you lovely people soon. You take care.